What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Spike Month. We got through a lot. Hell, we even surfed on water. Yeah, with a bike. So yeah, here we are in Spike Month, guys, and uh, it took us a long while to actually get there, and well, as you can see, it is closed to the public except for us right here, and... There really isn't a lot of stuff to do here except for just go in and battle a Pokemon Gym Leader. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to heal my Pokemon, go to the Pokemon Gym, whoop some candy ass, and then go to the last gym right here. Because I, I just realized we have six badges. Six freaking badges. Holy crud. And, uh, well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and start buying some stuff here because I did check my... my um, I did check my inventory. Yeah, we do not have any more hyper potions, so let's go ahead and do that. I've been saving up a lot of moolah just for this occasion. And, well, I did find something out about this place. And this is that this place right here does not actually have Gigantamax battles because it's not really uh, equipped for it. So here's our goth girlfriend, Marnie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Creepy as always. I like him crazy, guys. I really do. With the shutter closed, nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. You got it? You can handle it yourself, right? Sure. And here we have Piers' lead card. And, well... We got a grunt right here. He's like, Oi, welcome to Spike Month, kid! Hope you're ready for the gym mission! Hold on, mate! If you're gonna take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform! Well, like I said, guys, just like that, we're going into a uh, gym battle. And, well, there's really not a lot. This is, like, uh, a little bit more condensed than anything. And all the gym battle or the gym missions that you have to go on is uh, take on the team, uh, the team Yell Grunt here. And here we have a team Grunt or team Yell Grunt saying, Gym Challenger. You want to get past me, but if you if you don't want to waste it, waste that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, guys. Saying on a team yell grunt, and here we go, coming out with the Lenoon. Okay, Lenoon's looking uh, pretty kishish and all that stuff. But guess what? Body press for the win. Yeah, buddy. Oh yes. Lanoon is just getting his butt kicked right now. And can't wait to battle an Obstagoon because that's a, that's the Pokemon worth uh, battling. And just like that, we defeat this guy. He's like, you and your Pokemon broke through. Yes, I did. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. I don't want to get let you through. That's why I was waiting all, uh, waiting, uh, all squeezed in this crack. <laughs> but since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever you want, so I guess I'll step aside. He was, he was stuck in the cracks, guys. Squeezed into a crack. A huge crack. A big crack. Okay, so moving on forward, we got more and more people waiting for us. And before we battle these guys, let's go ahead and just switch out our Pokemon. Let's give some more uh, attention to Quackor the Foul right here. Because this is a Dark-type gym. Fighting-type Pokemon are the uh, craze. And these guys won't battle us. Do you know uh, Do you know the Pokemon move Light Scream? Yeah, I do. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. It makes for a cheery member of our team. Hmm. And, okay, so there is a Mr. Mime there. I do not trust it. It is both a fairy and psychic type, I guess. And let's go straight for Baconator, just for this, this occasion right here. And we can't move anywhere. Look at that. And it's mainly because Mr. Mime is blocking you. So if you click this one, he's like, there's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how, tr how you try. Hmm. There is a move. There is a move that you can actually use. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Quackor does have that move. And let's see. We move back. And of course, here we have another uh, Team Yell grunt. What's this? A gym challenger made it through. All us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't you think, or don't think that we'll just let you waltz through? No, uh, you won't, but yeah, we're going to be battling again. And here comes a TL Grunt, and he is coming out with a Thievil. I really do like this Pokemon. It re like It's a very, very nice concept of it, because it has like the, the evil mustache right there. 
I can already hear it laugh. And here comes a nice slash from Thievil. And not so effective, but here comes Quackor the Foul with a with his with his beat stick right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alrighty, and look at that. Michelangelo Groslow 51. And we defeat another Team Yell Grunt right there. Simple. Easy. Fantastic. Okay. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon were in awe of you and your Pokemon team. Here you go. Through. Check out our Neon Knights while you're at it. Okay. Can we go through? Oh, yeah, they can. Uh, I guess we can. And Mr. Mime notices Body Body. It's a regular Mr. Mime, by the way. Hmm. And look at that. The neon lights had just turned on. So now we are allowed to go right here. And, well, we got two team uh, yell grunts are looking at us right here. So I'm assuming we're going to battle these guys. I'm yelling for no reason. Wow. Athletic and bumbling at the same time. Did I surprise you? I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing. If I stand still like this for a little too long, I'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off and with the battle. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. Pokemon battle. Team Yell Grunt wants to take us on right here. And he's coming out with a Scrafty. Shedar. You know, the Pokemon that we once had. Shedar. Shedar, Shedar. Okay, so here we go. Brick Break. Let's get it. Brick Break does the thing. Say goodbye to Scrafty. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And look at that. Optimus Prime grows level 51. And just like that, we defeat another Team Yell Grunt. And I wonder if we're going to battle his counterpart right here. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain. So you can, you should praise me for that. All right. Now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. Huh. Okay. So that is pretty much that guy. And, uh, well, I think we're close to the gym battle right here. That was three trainers, and, well, here is a Mr. Mime. We turn back, and a grunt's like, the HP of your Pokemon's not looking so good. Oh, wow. Look at these people. Holy crud. I practiced that back half spring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Were you surprised? Oh, I'd be surprised, you. While you're in utter shock, I'm going to sneakily win this battle. Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go. A female team yell grunt wanting to battle us. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. Here we go. She's coming out with the weevil. And well. It's looking like it's looking like an easy battle for us right here. So here we go. Let's get it. Brick break for the win. And well, forget forget that. Weevil is a little faster than us, so here we go, brick break for the win. Say goodbye to Weevil. Okay. Weevil Underwear, by the way. Yeah. From Yu-Gi-Oh. What was that thing? Doro Monster Kara! Doro Monster Kara! I've watched that episode, guys. Trust me. I, it is fantastic. It is a fantastic thing. Okay, so we defeated another Team Yell Grunt. And look at this. They're handspringing all the way back. And, of course, the regular Mr. Mime, the G or the Kanto Mr. Mime, is leaving. And, well... That allows us to move on right here. And, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. We are finally at the very end of this whole gym right here. So let's go ahead and uh, put some, uh, yes, some super potions right here. And, well, there's nothing there except for us to move in. And never mind. We're going to be battling another team run or team uh, yell grunt right here. <laughs> Where the heck are we? Okay, so we're in disguise. Uh, Spike Month Gym Leaders, whatever. Okay. So here it is, guys. Another battle against the Grunts. And they're, it's a two-on-two -two battle now. So they're coming out with both Lyperd and uh, Frick, Frick, or Frick, or Frick, or Frick, and Drapion, yes. So here we go. Quackor and Blitzkrieg ready to go. And, well, here we go with the Blitzkrieg to that. And here we go with the Blitzkrieg to all of that. Okay. So I guess Overdrive is kind of like Discharge, except it doesn't hurt your po your uh, your partner Pokemon right here. So here we go, Overdrive takes care of both Pokemon right here. Holy crud! 
Blitzkrieg, you're kicking some butt right here. And well, Drapion is going for the uh, Venus Shock right here. Hits us pretty hard. Doesn't poison us. Here comes a Brick Break. Say goodbye to Drapion. Oh, yes. So no more Drapion and Blitzkrieg grows to level 49. And that is how you do it, guys. Alrighty. Okay. I'm feeling good. Feeling great. Fantastic. Okay. Alrighty. Ugh, whatever. Our gym leader's uh, up next, but he's really strong, got that? I mean, everyone's already knew that the true identity of Team Yell, right? That means I won't get in trouble for getting for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. <laughs> nah, I think this is like a lazy man's gym, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong. Alrighty, so, oh god, come on, how many battles do we have left? Shut your gob! The hell? Oh, Draven! Uh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spike Month's telling me that they locked down the city for my sake. What? Really? Spike Month just keeps getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is, don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym, gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marine would be the only one to win and take on the Champions Cup. And we figured that, it, well, and we figured that it increased the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's not a way to help someone at all. Draven, no need to bother with all these preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Okay, alrighty, so there it is. Oh wow, and they are having a concert, a huge concert right here. All right, maximum effort. Let's go ahead and do this, and uh, before we do anything, let's just, you know, it's 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 good etiquette to uh, heal up your Pokemon right here. There we go. Let's get it. Okay. Let's go right ahead, and here we are in the uh, Spike Month Gym, and look at this concert right here. Holy crud. Look at this. It's Gene Simmons' little brother. Holy crud. Look at the microphone. Look at him tapping his foot. What is he singing to? <laughs> oh, man. They, they see, these people are just having a good time right here. And, uh, well. Uh, so you're finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why no one was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard a whole thing about you be, uh, the city being shut up. When I was uh, alone, it was my own, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon. But well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Uh, okay, alrighty. So there is no Dynamaxing in this one right here. That is good because, uh, yeah, Dynamaxing is kind of scary sometimes. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Month, Pierce the Dark Times user. You wanna challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, you foolish trainer. Getting ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Month, it's time to go to rock. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number seven, and it's up against gym leader Pierce. And like we mentioned earlier, guys, there is no Dynamaxing, so this is just a straight up good old fashioned Pokemon battle right here. So here he comes out with a Scrafty and he's like, everyone cheer for my Pokemon. Let's do it, Scrafty. Immediate intimidate the opponent. And well, when there's an intimidate, there's no Moxie right there. So let's go right ahead and use a, uh, well, he's coming out with a fake out and he's still tapping his foot like if he was singing. But guess what? I got steadfast. Our speed has increased. Let's go. Brick break for the win. Oh, yes, and Scrafty, ooh, not looking so good right now, and, well, he has Brick Break right here, too, so let's go. Brick Break for the win. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. And uh, down for the count. Everybody growing levels, and Pierce is about to send, send, or send out Malamar. Now, Malamar, if you guys don't know... Is uh, a Pokemon that originated from the Kalos, or no, from the what was it, Kalos region? Yes, the Kalos region. 
you know, one of our favorite regions. And the weird part about this Pokemon is that if you uh, turn your uh, DS, Nintendo 3DS upside down, it will evolve. And, well, Malamar right here does have a nice ability. But I got an even better attack right here, Bug Bite, since it is quadruple uh, uh, weak against this guy right here. So there it is, Malamar, not feeling so good. Oh, yes. And, well, he's going to be coming out with Obstagoon. This is going to be the first time we'll ever be we'll ever be facing Obstagoon, but Obstagoon is the Galarian evolution form of Linoon right here. And yeah, this guy is looking like Kiss all over, and he's like, "Time to meet another member of my crew, face my proud my proud high roar of my Obstagoon." Look at that guy, just looks mean. Looks like Kiss. And here comes an obstruct attack. And what does this do? protected itself okay so there we go there's a protected and because of that our defense harshly falls very good strategy and well let's go right ahead body press and wow obstagoon is wow a good combination attack right here from obstagoon you know what screw it we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with the big guns right here so let's go with the wood hammer wood hammer Nearly takes this guy out. Lose a little bit of recoil. Here's a number I saved just for this. And then, uh, well, something about cheering him on. And here comes a throat chop. And there goes Optimus. Holy crap. Okay. Let's go to Michelangelo. Hopefully this will actually uh, take care of itself right here. So Michelangelo looking like a beast. Let's get it. Let's go with a Rock Tomb attack right here. Raw Tomb finishes off Obstagoon. Initially, you know, originally I was going to have Obstagoon on the team, but what changed that? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, so here comes his last Pokemon. It is Skunk Tank, and well, this Pokemon is a little pesky just because of uh, who it is. So what's going to happen is we're going to go straight out with Baconator right here. Hopefully, this guy will actually do the trick. And, well, here comes a Baconator. Looking like a mean man. He's like, I don't get Encores. Get it? Not Socks, not Moves, not Pokemon. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. He is looking mean. And, well, Skunk Tank. Everyone's going to stink, but who cares? Go, Skunk Tank. Use your Sucker Punch and Toxic. Oh, damn. Okay, so bring it. Let's go with a Flame Wheel attack right here. And will it do it? Can it do it? Does take a nice punch, and well, here comes a screech attack. This will actually lower our defense sharply. Not liking it, not one bit. So let's go again, another flame wheel attack. But here comes a sucker punch attack, and wow. <laughs> this guy really knows how to use his combination moves, and well, there goes Skunk Tank. Here comes an aftermath, and well, Skunk Tank has been defeated. And Quackor the Foul grows to level 48, and we have defeated Piers for our seventh badge. <laughs> He's not liking it. Me and my Pokemon gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. I think we are, or we will. Okay, so there goes Piers, and <laughs> he's not really happy at all. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. And, well, it looks like we're going to do the Ring of Honor handshake right here. Here's your Dark Patch. The Ring of Honor handshake right there. And just like that, we got the Dark Badge, which means that leaves us with one more badge in both versions right here, guys. And now we can actually capture Pokemon up to level 55. Here's a Uniform 2. I've actually been thinking about just selling them on at my concerts. And we get ourselves a dark uniform, which is great. My little sis Marnie's gonna challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You don't, you won't learn anything uh, from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned how to battle and all that. That's right. That me, that reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in the Spike Month as a gym leader. Yeah, I know. 
you'd plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've uh, really become a great gym leader, even if you're, you even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer's going to be a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't even, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey Draven, thanks for having an amazing uh, Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Whatever you say, my scary goth lady. Okay, so uh, yes, we defeated Pierce, and now he will give us the TM85 Snarl, which, of course, the user yells as if it was ranting about something, which lowers the special attack stats of opponent Pokemon. And holy crud. Hey, there's some, there's some trouble over at Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to, uh, to sort things out. Oh, hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there and help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Ah, well, something's going on, and uh, I just don't like it. I really, really don't like it. Well, after, you know, after winning the gym badge, this is happening. There's a big old kaboom. And the Pokemon League champion, Leon, is right here. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, Draven, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on that goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym, uh, gym badge left is the one you'll get, uh, uh, you'll get the, from the Dragon Gym Leader, uh, Rayon. Rayon is right. Ryan is the only uh, trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that, he's that good, you know. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is uh, no time for me to stop and, uh, to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. And yes, we all got more kabooms. Wow, what the hell's going on? That came from the tunnel. What did you say? It seems I'm about to have a champion's time. Huh. You know what I'm saying. Okay, well. With that being said, guys. We are going to pause our game right here. And, uh, yeah. We're going to heal up our Pokemon and get things going. And in the next episode, I, I'm i pretty sure it's going to be a short one right here. But there's going to be a lot of, of cutscenes and whatnot. And, uh, well... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of cutscenes going on to this one right here, but yeah, we're going to have a very, very good time, uh, very, very good time in this cutscenes and all that stuff. Going to be explaining a few things here and there, and then uh, yeah, we're going to be battling a few trainers here and there too. So again, thank you guys for supporting this uh, walkthrough, supporting my channel. More episodes to come. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.